Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Today we're going to Sam's. Um, I live near Costco, um, but Sam's is near my school. And since I had to go by my school this morning, I figured I'd come by Sam's and see what's new. I haven't been to Sam's for quite some time. Um, I actually drove here with the intentions of getting gas because gas is um, usually considerably cheaper um, at Sam's than at Costco. And it's um, also been a little bit cheaper in the city that I'm in, which is a different city than in which I live. Um, but then I come here and I show up and the gas station is under construction. And I'm like, what is going on? I drove here. Half the pre purpose I drove here was to come get gas and the gas station is under construction. So it's a little sad, but hopefully we'll find some good deals inside. So let's go. Sad, sad, sad. Super, super sad. So I had my new microphone with me and I didn't bring the adapter. So we have to go with voiceover. But this was pretty cool, this outdoor screen, you inflate it and then you could watch movies in your backyard. I thought that was really, really cool. So $100, didn't seem too bad. Super cool for the summer. Sam's had all of their outdoor furniture out. I love this section. It's always great to see what they're gonna have whenever we're not in a rental house. Hopefully we can get some things like this. These potters, um, plant pots are super cute to decorate. Backyard, front yard, they're just really, really good. And then I love this like rain thing. It was like a rain barrel. So you can like catch rain and then you can use it for watering. I guess, I guess you could use it for drinking if you boil it. But what really caught my eye were these planting tears things. So those that garden know what green stalks are and know that they're super expensive. So these stackable flower pots, it was five levels, levels for $35, which is like a fraction of a green stalk. Then they just had so many cute outdoor things here at Sam's. I love when the seasons change. These solar lights are really, really cute. I would definitely pick up something like that if we were like in our permanent house. Um, I really like those. And then um, they had these really nice, like sturdy, durable welcome mats for a good price, which are really good. So gummy bears. Gummy bears are like a food group for me. So there was no way I was passing up this huge bag for ten dollars which is the cheapest that you can buy gummy bears at this price so this was definitely coming home with me along with one of those stackable flower pots which made its way into my cart um this was a really good deal to basically get a blender and a um cup at the same time <laughs> like a Nutribullet sort of and the Ninja Blender uh, together so all the extra attachments the food processor everything really good price these KitchenAid mixers were on sale this is a really good price also normally you only see these prices like during Black Friday so this was a good deal paper plates 300 for 22 dollars um I try to use regular plates, but sometimes we're in the season of life where paper works better. So I buy these like twice a year. These were really, really good. They had all these things on sale, all of their bakeware. So if you needed to stock up, these were actually really good prices. There were like two and three piece sets and like different sizes. Good sale. Mushrooms, for whatever reason, are super expensive everywhere and expensive at Costco, but here they're like $3 cheaper than they were at Costco, so I definitely picked up a case of these. These different tomatoes and everything seem to be a really, really good price. Um, they're definitely either in line or a little bit cheaper than Costco. Um, most of the prices... Um, between Sam's and Costco, we're pretty much in line or even just a little bit cheaper. Um, they seem to have more things on sale at Sam's than they normally do at Costco, but 
on a whole the prices were comparable if you had to like drive out of your way to go to one store or the other um it probably wouldn't be worth your drive but if you have choices between the two and they're both local to where you live then you might be better off getting some things at one place and some things at another place again this goes to just knowing your prices um, this was a super, super good sale on jalapenos. We go through a lot of jalapenos with our Taco Tuesdays every night. And even though this seems like a really, really big jar, <laughs> we do use them every week. So for $3.68 for this huge jar, this is much, much better than um, buying little jars at a time as we need it, especially until my actual jalapenos start to grow on my plants. Um, this automatic... <laughs> Floor cleaner kept following me around. I could not get away from it. Uh, the price of flour is comparable. It was nice that they had these 10 pound bags though. So like you get five pounds in the supermarket and then you can get 10 pounds here at Costco. They only have 25 pound bags. So if I needed to come stock up on flour, I would probably come here and get the 10 pound bag. Um, it just was a really good deal. So yeah, they had the 25 um, pound bags and I can't remember exactly the price, but I feel like it was comparable to what they have over at Costco. So not a huge uh, difference. And they had basically all the same selections. Pine nuts cheaper. this was a really good deal and something i had never seen before premier protein pancakes so good way to get protein into your kids lunchables my daughter loves lunchables they're not the greatest i know but there were superb price sausage they actually don't sell this at my costco so i definitely had to pick one of these up to do some breakfast prep that i was doing um, for my family and also um, extended family same thing with the bacon uh the bacon here super cheap it was on sale ten dollars it's already cooked so it's kind of thin but for 72 pieces of already cooked this is great when you're trying to do um, meal prep like breakfast prep or just want to have it on hand for um, a quick snack or other things couldn't pass this up still on the search and i have found my strawberry lemonade this was by far my favorite strawberry lemonade and also at an amazing price so i may have to go out of my way to go get this some more uh the butter equally as affordable as costco uh grapes my favorite, favorite, one of my favorite items to buy from Costco or from Sam's. Although I realized these were seeded grapes, I, di I didn't read carefully. I prefer seedless. One thing that I could not get over here was the selection of spices. The spices were just like, it just kept going on and on and on. There were just so many. I mean, it was just like one after another after another and so many different choices and varieties. And there's just no reason for you to have unseasoned bland food. And for these prices, you know, obviously you don't have to buy a whole bunch at one time. I mean, just look at the variety, look at the prices. Every time you go, pick up a different one and you know, you could still have the chicken, beef, pork, and you don't even have to change up your meats, but you're still gonna be changing up your meals by trying all these different spices. So really, really no reason to have bland food. And they even had all these different things like Thin Mint and Snickers for desserts, what? Speaking of desserts, Sam's always has good desserts. They have these cute little egg-shaped uh, cupcakes for Easter, all different kinds of designs. I thought that was really cute. Um, their tarts, their cakes, their cupcakes, everything is super good and super affordable at Sam's. So if you ever need to pick up a birthday cake, a dessert cake, this is definitely the place to go. They're great for birthday parties, um, kids birthday parties for sure if you have to take cupcakes to school i mean you can't beat these the taste and the price 
Um, this is where we usually like to get a lot of our lunch meat from. Uh, the quality is good. The price is really, really good, especially compared to deli meat. Um, so it's great to have these larger packages on hand if your kids are taking lunch every day or just to have for prep. Uh, their meat selection and prices were pretty comparable to Costco. I didn't really notice any huge price differences. Um, just like I said with the desserts, the pastries are phenomenal also. I have never bought anything that I didn't like or that other people didn't like um, from Sam. So they're good to take you know, to some sort of function, a party, a get together. If you have family over and you need to fix some things for breakfast, this is a good deal. Um, they also have really good sushi um, on a whim I bought it one time and it was really really good um, it's always fresh always has a great taste um, so this night I decided to get some so this was it for me let's head out to the scan and go and get out of here all right Sam's Club Hall let's do this so the bacon the cheapest I have ever found this bacon. I always buy regular bacon and just cook it myself, but I'm gonna be doing um, quite a bit of breakfast prep for myself and also um, my parents. So this fully cooked bacon just helped save me a step and it was $10 each, obviously. $10 of package for 72 slices of bacon. Now they are thinner, um, but microwave bacon for $10? I'm sorry, but I'll take it especially when I have a lot of prepping to do. Um, we also got the sausage, um, which is breakfast sausage, and this is gonna get cooked up and for breakfast preps also. Um, this, I actually have been eyeing this for, I wanna say like three or four years now, and it's just garlic butter. Um, this company also has two other flavors. I didn't notice the other two flavors, but it's been in Sam's for years and I always say I wanna try it. And every time that we have pizza or now I'm starting to make breadsticks with our pizza, um, I have to make my own garlic butter and we do pizza almost every week. So for this huge tub, this was worth it. I believe this was 647, but you know, this will, it's probably more economical to make my own, but to have to make it every single time this is a splurge. Um, these Lunchables, they're not the best, they're not the healthiest, but they make my six-year-old little heart uh, happy. So I get these for her. They're six in a package and they came out to $1.48 each. And in the store, they are $3.33 each. So that was a no-brainer. So I got those for her. Um, I picked up some apples for myself and I already got into them, Honeycrisp apples. They're really, I mean, I like other apples, but these are by far my favorite. Um, so I picked those up. Imitation vanilla. I know a lot of people have a lot of strong feelings on imitation vanilla or pure vanilla. Frankly, I don't care. I will use either or. I'm sure pure vanilla has a better taste. What, you know, what have you. I'm sure it's better quality, but I use a lot of vanilla and just paying $20 for a bottle that's like a third of this size just does not sit right with me. So <laughs> I get imitation vanilla. I've bought this a bunch of times before. Um, I go through it very quickly, you know, so it's not gonna sit in my closet and go bad. And this was like $5.42 for this 32 ounce bottle. So in this house, we do imitation vanilla. Um, I got some more strawberries because I've actually eaten, eaten through <laughs> quite a few of the strawberries that I had canned up um, in one of my last videos and I wanted to make some strawberry preserve actually so I needed a few more strawberries to um, go with that and they were two pounds for I believe six dollars I'm not sure maybe five something um, you'll see uh, well, you saw in the video how many different choices there are in these Kinders brands. And we already have like four of these and they have every single one we bought has always been amazing. So we're gonna try some new ones. I figure this will be great on chicken or pork. Citrus and garlic just sounds really, really good. And Japanese barbecue with soy, ginger, and garlic. This just sounds like it'll be really, really good on ribs. So I'm excited to try these two and you know they're cheap affordable 
and it just no reason to not have good seasoning on your food when you can get it for so cheap um the oranges we are just about out of the oranges that i prepped last time so this time i got some smaller mandarin ones just to kind of change it up so that we don't you know get used to the same oranges and get bored of it and um Obviously, these are easier to peel. Those bigger ones are kind of a pain in the butt to peel, so this will kind of give me a break, too. So I'll get these prepped and put into jars, and they, you know, if I would have left a bag of oranges there, it would sit for forever, but because they were peeled and jarred up, they went like hotcakes. So I'll do the same for this. Um, I did get some sushi. Uh, this will be my dinner tonight. Um, I only had to do dinner for myself tonight, so picking up sushi. Um, 15 pieces for $8.48. Some of the other ones were $7.48. They had a wide variety you saw in the video. This, my favorite grapes of all time. They're amazing and they were cheaper at Sam's than they have them at Costco. Uh, we got the jalapenos because it'll be a while before my plant starts producing and we go through a lot of jalapenos and it would be nice to have the rings and just cut them up if we need to cut them up. Um, I needed some conditioner. This was new and it was on sale. so. So decided to try that out. Paper plates, of course. Normally I really, really would like to just use regular plates, but we are in a season of life where I am so busy, I just don't have time. And the hassle and the aggravation and are they washed, are they not washed? I would just rather not deal with it, so paper plates. I am still on a search for a strawberry lemonade that I love. So hopefully this will be it. The last one from Publix, the Publix brand, did not like it at all. At all, not even a little bit did I like it. Of course, this is like a food group for me and you can tell by the size of my hand, this is a huge bag. So this will last me forever and I'll have to hide it from the kids. <laughs> Uh, the mushrooms, we do use a lot of mushrooms and various things when we have steaks in omelets. Um, uh, sometimes in our Asian food, put them in fried rice, um, in our spaghetti sauce. So uh, we do use a lot of mushrooms and it's way more economical for me to buy it in the pack. And of course, the tear garden. So for those of you that are gardeners you know what a green stalk is and i have been eyeing a green stalk and eyeing a green stalk and if you follow um acre homestead they had uh becky had a code to get a discounted one and i'm sure the green stalks are far better quality um but i just could not bring myself <laughs> to pay to have a green stalk so I saw this, it was literally a third of the price, a third of the sale price. So I could not pass that up. I mean, it was just like, I've never seen one in a store before. Um, I know some people have said that they've actually found these things in Dollar Tree. I have never seen them in one of my Dollar Trees. So um, yeah, I am super, super excited about it. A third of the sale price of a green stock. So hopefully this will work out. Hopefully it is just as good. I'm super excited to have this. And of course this, even though it was only $35, <laughs> which is much cheaper than the actual green stock, it did um, ramp up my total here for the total groceries. Um, so the total for all of this was $203.08. Um, as you know, I don't really spend much money on groceries because I'm always stocked up. And these are things that obviously do not get purchased on a regular basis. Like this was $35. So if you take that off, $165. Um, the plates were $22. So now we're down to like $143. That will be like a twice a year purchase. Um, this will last me quite a few months. That was $8. The mushrooms were $10. That will last a couple of months. This will last for you know, at least three to four months, if not longer. Um, these will last us a couple of weeks. The apples will last me a couple of weeks, obviously. This I usually buy twice a year, maybe three times a year, if that. So these, you know, are a one-time purchase. They last a very long time. This is for prep, so this will be used in many, many meals. 12 lunches for my daughter, 
this will last us a long time to get through this butter and these two packages of bacon are going for meal prep for many many meals so you know even though i spent 200 dollars just on one shopping trip it's going to last a very long time so if you divide it up it you know really isn't that bad even if you want to say four weeks which some of the stuff will last us way longer than four weeks it's um even if you include the price of this pot um it would be fifty dollars a week but if you take out the pot and even say the paper plates and cut off um what is that fifty seven dollars right off the top you're already at like 140 something dollars um divided by three or four weeks so we're still doing really really good so thank you guys for joining me hopefully i'll get to use my microphone next time and um the sound quality will be great. I'm still working on it, learning how to improve my channel, how to improve the way that I'm showing things and doing things. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.